Welcome to MoveNote, the online application for recording practice sessions and presentation sessions for your speeches, talks, or presentations. MoveNote will enable you to practice your presentation and share those practice sessions with others. Now, you might think that you can practice in front of somebody else just about any time you want to, but MoveNote will allow you to record those practice sessions on your computer or Chromebook. It will allow you to see yourself giving the presentation as well as the slides and then you can share those practice sessions with others. We'll be using MoveNote to record practice sessions and share them with peers and with the teacher. So let's learn about how to use MoveNote. When you start to use MoveNote, don't sign in by clicking Get a MoveNote account. Go to Sign In and then just sign in with Google. This is one of those easy applications that allows you to use your school Google account to sign in. Once you've clicked on that, it will probably give you a window where you'll be asked to enter your school email address and password. But of course, I'm already logged in on several accounts, so I'll simply use it here. For the first time logging in, you'll be asked to click a couple accept buttons. Click those accept buttons, and then you'll be pushed here. Welcome to the Move Note screen. You can see over here that I will use this area for my presentation slides, and this area will record me actually giving the presentation. So when you record a session, you'll see both windows. Let's figure out how to use it. First of all, this button is the control panel button, which will allow you to control your camera and your microphone. The first time you use MoveNote, you may have to give it permission to use your camera. If so, go ahead and give permission. Then here you can turn the camera on or turn the camera off as you wish. The camera is now turned off for me, but I can turn it back on pretty quickly. I can also manipulate the microphone volume settings. Turn up the volume on the microphone or turn it down. You can see the volume bar here. It looks like I'm maxing out quite a bit, so I'll turn that volume down a little. Be sure to manipulate your volume so that you can be heard by your audience. This is the slide area. And when you are starting a presentation, you must add your slides. Adding slides are, is exceptionally easy if you're using Google Drive. So, I will simply look Here is the presentation that I want to import. Select it. It'll take a moment. It's converting the Google presentation file into a file usable by MoveNote. The slides will come in, and I'll be able to manipulate the slides as I record. So, give it just another moment to convert. It's completed, and here is my presentation. I can use the forward and back arrow buttons to move through the presentation, just as I would normally. So I'm moving through the presentation, back and forward. I can manipulate it just as I would. Now, unfortunately, this slide is a video slide, and the video did not convert. I'm not able to play the video. In a presentation, you can simply assume that the video has played because you're probably presenting and practicing your speech more than you're practicing just playing a video. However, if you wish to upload a video, you can try something through MoveNote to upload that video. But I wouldn't recommend it. It's more work than you need to do right now. Remember that you are recording your presentation to focus on your delivery of your script and to fine-tune your voice. When you're ready, click Record, and it'll give you a countdown. Three, two, one, go, and you are recording. As you record, everything will go through just fine. You'll see your face. You'll move through your slides easily enough, and you can give your presentation. Of course, you can pause at any time you want to. And when you pause, you have the option to save and preview. Or you can start over. I will save and preview. It will convert my video. Two, one, go. And you are recording. As you record, everything will go through just... Now that you've recorded your video, you have a number of options for sharing it. You can take this URL and embed it somewhere, or use it as a link. Or, 
you could email it directly, which is what you'll do here in class. Or you could use any one of these services to post it. The Options button allows you to edit slides, rename your presentation, change your background, and so on. And you can feel free to do that. But remember that we're not looking for flashiness here, just a basic presentation practice. I will rename this Presentation 2. When I look in my archives, I can create folders and use them to organize my presentations. So in my Survivor Story Presentation folder, you'll see two presentations. Presentation 1, Test Presentation 2. I want to name them the same, so... Test Presentation 1 and Test Presentation 2. You can record as many practice presentations as you wish, and I recommend naming them something smart like Test Presentation 1 or Test Presentation 2. From this screen, you can email directly to your teacher, you can share it via these services, or you can use the control panel options to change it in some way. You can record as many presentations as you wish and share them with whomever you wish as well. That's about as difficult as it is to use MoveNote. You'll be able to use it easily. But some of you may be wishing to know how you can use Prezi. Let's take a look back at the main screen. In the Add Slides window, you'll see that it asks you to use a PowerPoint file or a Google Drive file, a PDF, a JPEG, a PNG. So how exactly would you use Prezi with MoveNote? Well, let's take a look at your Prezi presentation. When you're looking at your Prezi presentation, you can click the Edit button. When you're in the edit mode on your Prezi presentation, you'll have the opportunity to save it as a PDF. Let's wait for the Prezi presentation to load. Right here under Share, you can see that I have the option to download as PDF. Now this means that it's no longer the dynamic presentation that Prezi is, but it is a very basic version of each slide that you can use with MoveNote. So I will download this as a PDF. And it will take some time because, of course, my Prezi contains numerous slides and quite a lot of graphic data. But it's moving through just fine. So we'll wait for it for a moment. Remember that even though you lose some of the dynamic interaction on Prezi when you download it as a PDF, for MoveNote, all you're worrying about is a basic practice of the presentation. So as long as you have the basic presentation slides up there, you should be just fine. Almost there. Notice that I have 34 slides. A recommendation to everybody, more slides is often better, creating a more dynamic presentation. OK, it's finished converting all pages, and now I click Save PDF. Now, this is how it saves on my Windows laptop computer. On your Google Chromebook, it'll save to the hard drive space there. Save it. It'll save to your hard drive space on your Google Chromebook. Now, when I click Add Slides, I'm going to select from my computer. And here is my PDF, VG Prezi. Double click on that, and it will upload. And of course, that's once again a lot of data, so it'll take a moment for it to upload. If you have trouble using your Google Chromebook's hard drive space, ask somebody for help. And remember that when you save something on a Google Chromebook, you could save it directly to your Google Drive space, which means that when you are here commanding MoveNote to upload a presentation, you can upload it directly from Drive. 
as with everything on computers, you can use a number of different approaches to accomplish the same task. Okay, that was a little bit of movie magic as I were paused. We are just about finished with my Prezi PDF upload. Now the conversion is happening. I'll fast forward again. And my conversion is complete and my Prezi is now in the form of slides. Loading all my slides, it's all ready to go. And you can see, once again, even though I've lost the dynamic movement, I can move through all the slides that I wish to move through, just as my presentation would. So I'm ready to practice. It may take some time to download your Prezi as a PDF and then to upload it to MoveNote, but it's worth it. I now have the opportunity to practice as much as I wish. Using MoveNote is an exceptional way to make sure that you are comfortable and prepared when you give your presentation. You will be asked to do this when you are in class. Make sure that you're doing it according to assignment instructions, but also consider doing this more often so you can become more comfortable with your presentation. Walk up in front of the class knowing exactly what you're doing and exactly how to do it, and MoveNote can help. As you have questions, feel free to ask them.